Today I'm making pickled ginger and uh, we need to slice up the ginger really thinly. Now if you have a mandolin uh, that'll work really good for you but I had put mine in um, storage so I have a knife. Get all this sliced up into thin slices so I won't bore you guys with the whole thing but I will slice up one or two and then I'll come back with a full bowl. Pickled ginger is one of my favorite. I go to sushi places just to ask for more more ginger please. Okay, with the amount of ginger I have, I'm going, um, and because, you know, it's, it's an older ginger, I want to try to get some of the bitterness out of it. So I'm going to soak it um, in a salt and sugar. Um, so I'm using two tablespoons of salt, and that's kosher salt, and I'm going to use two tablespoons of sugar. Yes, I am putting four, but there are half tablespoons. Okay, so that's the salt and sugar. And I'm just going to give this a toss and get everything. Let me move my salt out of the way. So you're going to toss this in. And I would use a, if you have one, use a mandolin. It'll get the slices a little bit thinner. Um, these are kind of, you know, thick, but still doable once they're pickled. So I'm gonna talk, keep tossing this so they're all evenly coated with the salt and the sugar. I'm going to set my timer for 30 minutes and I'm going to let this kind of mellow out. So oh, where's my timer? Okay, got the timer going. All right, see you in 30. Okay, so it's been sitting here for 30 minutes and it has a lot of juices at the bottom and I taste tested it and it was still a little bit peppery so you see the juices there all right so I have two quart jars um, in hot water bath uh, sterilizing them the lids are over there and I've got two quarts of water here and so once this comes to a boil then I'm going to dump in the the ginger here and uh, for about 30 seconds and um, that'll help soften it up too. While we're waiting for that to boil I'm going to take four cups so this is I have about two pounds of ginger. So what I'm going to use is four cups of rice vinegar and put that in a saucepan. And I will put um, the recipe in the comments below, um, in the description below, uh, with using um, measurements for one pound of fresh ginger. So then I'm going to use um, a cup and a half of sugar and two tablespoons of salt. I'm 
using the half tablespoon again, so I'm going to put in two tablespoons, so that's one, two, three, and four. So the water is boiling there. Let me get the ginger in it. Okay, so in about um, 30 seconds, I'm going to take it over to my sink and strain it out with my strainer. So hopefully it'll come back to a boil real quick. It doesn't take very long for it to get um, softer. So while we're waiting on the 30 seconds, which will be up in just a moment, I've got the vinegar the sugar and the salt in here and I'm going to bring this um, up enough heat so everything dissolves and I guess that is about done and let me drain it and toss it so all the water comes out of it okay so here oh, got it all in the jars so I have a quart and a third. And if you saw in the previous video where I was peeling the ginger, had I not saved off those shoots to replant, uh, I would have had two full quarts. So let me see how this is doing. Let me stir it some more. Okay, it's still in the bottom there, not dissolved. Let me turn up the heat just a little bit. Maybe get that dissolved. So what I'll do with this is I'm going to put, I'm going to water bath can the quart, and then the, this other one, I'm just going to put it in the refrigerator. All right, so it is looks like it has dissolved for the most part and I'm going to ladle this out into the jar and we want to cover make sure that all the ginger is covered in here of head space and I'm gonna have to debubble it. And since I like pickled anything, basically this is gonna get the rest of the juice. So that pickling with the ginger, that'll be good at salad dressings, just to toss with your salad, greens if you that's all you wanted it for, uh, a lot of different things you can do with it. But that's how it's going to, I'm not going to waste it, so here we go. Let me get the, start debubbling it.
so I think most of the bubbles are out of this one. Okay, did you notice that the it dropped a little bit? So this one's pretty easy since there's not a whole lot in this. This will be yummy stuff. Now, if you like that pink color uh, that you'll see in some of the restaurants and everything, that is um, either very young ginger or they've colored it with a food dye. Uh, one way to get that naturally is to put a little bit of slice of uh, radish in with your in this step and that'll also color it a pink for you. All right, there we go. Grab the lids and get them on here. Whoops. All right, change of plans. I put both of them in the uh, water bath canner because I didn't have enough hot water in there to cover the one jar by itself. So you want to leave about an inch of uh, water on top of the jars um, so while they're canning. And this is going to can for 15 minutes, and then we'll take it out. It needs to get back to a boil. And then we'll start timing the 15 minutes. Okay, here is the finished product. Um, finished pickling them. It's been about 11 days. I'm going to crack uh, this one open and taste test it. Okay, so normally I, I do wait um, about 14 days, but 11 days. I want, I've been real anxious to try this out. So you see, it's very nice. Almost opaque. So. I didn't do too bad on the on the slices, now did I? <laughs> Let me try this one. Okay, taste testing. A little vinegary, but um, you know that's normal. Um, Probably used, um, could use a, a little bit more time uh, mellowing it out um, because it was an older ginger, but other than that, it tastes wonderful and it hit the spot. So I'm glad I opened it up. Now I'll be storing this um, with a lid on it in my uh, refrigerator from now on since I've already opened this. But the vinegar and everything, really good on salads. You have to try it if you haven't already. All right. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. I love you all. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.